on a walk and I'm using my front camera right now so I use my front camera a lot like I really hope like that's part of the reason aside from the fact that my phone broke that's part of the reason I got another one is because I needed a better front camera I really it's hard for me to use the other side but anyway this video is gonna be about a little bit more of a controversial topic and I was I didn't want to make it before because my opinion was different you know back in the day or it was more divided this video is going to be about my thoughts and my opinions this video is going to be about circumcision so I decided that this was an important video to make not because I want to like bash somebody else's opinion not because I think you're a terrible person if you choose to have your baby circumcised. I just wanted to offer a little bit of insight into the topic, if at all possible, because I'm actually, I feel like a lot of people who talk about it, I feel like a lot of people who talk about it are very one-sided, like one side's just defending themselves and the other side's just like, the side that does it is just defending themselves and the other side is just screaming. So I thought I'd offer maybe a little bit of insight on this. So if you don't live in the United States, circumcision is 100% legal here and it's fairly popular. But anyway, basically 50% of baby boys in the United States today will be circumcised after birth or a little bit over 50%. So what I wanted to talk about is why I'm kind of, why I'm against it without trying to make other people feel like they're, you know, bad or wrong because I wasn't always, I didn't always have this opinion. Um, I'm against it personally because the risk to benefit factor isn't that great. Although the benefits arguably do exist, the American Academy of Pediatrics has done studies that show that the benefits do exist. Um, it reduces the risk for a specific type of cancer that is only in, it reduces the risk for a specific type of cancer, sorry, I just got off the busy road, for a specific type of cancer that is only in the foreskin. But we would have to circumcise, I think it's around a quarter million babies to prevent this one type of cancer. And then, when you think about the ramifications, the ramifications are that they can never undo what's been done. Once it's done, that's it. You can't go back and um, redo it. So that's something that I want parents to think about, that this type of cancer is very, very uncommon and it can, oh, it's, it's irreversible. And if your son does become a teenager and say, doesn't want to have that part, you know what I mean? You can always, he can always have it done later. Like I actually know somebody personally who was um, circumcised at a later point in his life. And he said that it really wasn't a very traumatic procedure. And the thing is, another thing is, the foreskin is attached like your nail is attached to your pinky. It, that like, you know what I mean? Like people don't realize it's not just clipping a little piece of skin off. Like you actually have to tear that off and then clip the piece of skin off. Um, and let's also not like, when you think about another benefit is that it reduces the risk for urinary tract infections, but it's only a, by a 1%. So the urinary tract infections that you're gonna, your son could potentially get from not being circumcised are, it, it's very small, it's only 1%. And then lastly, the last argument that people say is, you know, cosmetic and um, hygienic. So for, for me, like, and I've researched this, the foreskin does not retract until your baby boy starts to go through puberty. So to me, if you, if your son has not learned to wash himself properly by that age, you, 
you just you failed as a parent I'm sorry um and then the last thing that parents worry about is cosmetically like their child being made fun of and things like that like I said only half of babies are still being circumcised you know what I mean so especially it, and also demographically the south is the highest for circumcision like the southern United States and it's only 64 percent the west is the lowest being at 33 percent so you're at your if you live in the west your son would actually be um, in the minority. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I wasn't trying to offend anybody, but I do want to put my thoughts and opinions out there. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video.